Okay, to rename the uh, soundbar HTZ9F, you're going to grab the soundbar remote and hit the home button while you're pointing at the soundbar, and it'll power it up. You could hit power also, but it says please wait on the front of the soundbar while it's powering up. It should power on the TV automatically. Uh, press it one more time. It should switch the input to the soundbar's display. Takes a minute. Uh, okay, I'm going to hit home again. At some point, you should get to the home screen, which is here. And from there, you're going to go with the arrow keys on the soundbar remote. You're going to go up to the top, and then you're going to go over to set up, hit select, or you can hit down to get down here. And then advanced settings, you're going to go down to system settings, you're going to go down to the device name setting, you're hitting select obviously to open up these menus, and you can choose a name or you can edit the device name, and then it'll bring up a keyboard. I'm going to actually add soundbar to the name because this one this room actually has a soundbar and a separate dedicated music speaker pair uh, you really have to point the remote at the soundbar pretty purposely uh, Oh, this is hard to do while I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Oop, there we go. Okay, to save you the labor of watching this. Okay, so when you get your name edited how you want it, you're going to go over to Enter and hit the OK button in the middle of the arrows. And that's it. That name's your soundbar. You can hit uh, Home to get back out of this. And then, in order to switch back to whatever source you wanted, you can, or you want to be on, you switch the input however you normally do. In this case, you just press a button on the Roku remote and it'll switch the input, and now you're on Roku.